I'd like to call to order the Tuesday, March 19th, 2024 meeting of the Sheboygan County Board of Supervisors. Are we certified in compliance with the open meeting law? Yes, we are. The agenda is posted on the 15th at 3 p.m. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance. Next is roll call. Supervisor Jorgensen. Present. Supervisor Immel. Here. Thank you. We have 23 supervisors present. Next is the approval of the February 20th, 2024 journal. Supervisor Brower. Thank you, Supervisor Brower. Supervise. <laughs> wow. That's everybody. Supervisor Clark. Thank you, Supervisor Clark. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, please vote. Supervisor Jorgensen. Aye. Supervisor Immo, how do you vote? Aye. Thank you. Motion is approved unanimously. Right. Next is presentations. We have none. Public addresses. There are none. There's communications and announcements. We have one resolution from Barron County regarding per diem payment authority for county board members serving on municipal library boards. We'll receive that for information. That next. is all. Thank you. The next is the county administrator's report. Good evening, everyone. It's nice to see so many people joining us this evening that aren't county board supervisors, so welcome to all of our visitors. Um, I have just a couple things to go over uh, this evening as part of my report. I apologize, I'm still trying to get used to this double microphone thing. Um, first, I want to start out by letting all of the county board supervisors know that the department's annual reports are completed and will be uploaded on the department's web pages in the next uh, day or two. So I encourage you all to take a look at those reports and read them. They are a great summary of the accomplishments and initiatives from 2023, as well as the goals for 2024 for each of the departments. So if you have the opportunity, please um, take it to read those reports reports on each of the web pages. In addition, another announcement, I'm proud to report that once again, our finance department received the Certificate of Achievement in, uh, for Excellence in Financial Reporting from the Government Finance Officers Association. This is based on the 2022 Comprehensive Financial Report, and this is the highest form of recognition in government accounting. So kudos to all of the staff in the finance department, as well as the finance committee for their oversight and commitment to excellence. Next, I'm going to touch on resolution 26, which is in your packet and um, is up for um, um, adoption this evening. It's regarding purchasing land uh, just off of Highway 42. As you'll see, uh, it is up for adopting um, as amended from committee, and I wanted to give just a little bit of background on this. The parcel in question is adjacent to our north side highway shed, and the parcel that the highway shed is currently on is quite small, and we are at capacity of our footprint there, and so we were exploring um, acquiring additional land, and originally we're proposing to purchase the 30 acres, the entire parcel, and um, after getting a purchase price from the owner and getting an appraisal, um, it wasn't uh, feasible, and so instead we are 
uh, pursuing purchasing three acres instead, and so that will meet the needs of the highway department and our anticipated future needs at that site. And so I just wanted to provide a little bit of background on why that is being amended. In addition, Ordinance 13, which is in your packet, uh, it's quite a, a lengthy document. You'll see that that is proposing to amend chapters 61 through 65 of the county code, and those are all chapters related to the airport. The um, chapters in your packet are the red line version, so you can see all of the changes that are being proposed. Um, of significance, I want to point out that one of the amendments is proposing to change the name of the airport to the Sheboygan County Memorial International Airport, and that's recognizing that we have customs facilities there. As you know, we've had customs uh, for, for quite some time now, um, but this action would be uh, officially changing the name to incorporate the word international. In addition, some of the other changes are just cleaning up some inconsistencies within those chapters. They are further defining some of the terminology and then also updating some of the references to state statutes. So a lot of um, cleanup there. Um, some examples include uh, Matt Grenoble um, making his title consistent. Sometimes he was referenced as airport manager, other times airport superintendent. So we're just making that consistent throughout the different chapters. Um, in addition, there's some cleanup to references um, to maps that we have to have for airport regulations. So the vast majority of the redlining you see in that packet is just cleaning up. Um, and then also, I finally, I wanted to draw to your attention um, after further review, the Transportation Committee decided that it was best to keep our liability insurance requirements as is. So uh, when these chapters were coming through the committees for amendment, um, it was contemplated to increase, or excuse me, decrease the uh, liability insurance, and the Transportation Committee ultimately decided that it was best to, to leave the insurance requirements as is. Um, so you'll see that was highlighted on, um, specifically if you're looking at your packet currently, page 30, you'll see where that highlighting starts and you'll see it went, it was at 3 million, it was proposed to lower it to 1 million, and now it's being put back at 3 million. So I just wanted to clarify why that might have been a little confusing and why um, the, the dollars were changing several times. So again, the, the chapters 61 through 65 related to the airport, a lot of cleanup, and I just wanted to draw um, to your attention that highlighted section that may have been a little confusing. And that is all I have for my report this evening. All right, with that, we'll move on to consideration of committee reports, executive committee, resolution number 25. Regarding approving municipal access, storm sewer lighting, camera and safety equipment easement with the village of Elkhart Lake, recommendation to adopt. Supervisor Gehring. Thank you, Supervisor Gehring. Supervisor Wagner. Thank you, Supervisor Wagner. Under discussion. Seeing no discussion, please vote. Supervisor Jorgensen. Aye. Supervisor Immel. Aye. Thank you. That resolution is passed unanimously. All right, then we move to consideration of committee reports, finance committee, resolution number 26. Regarding purchase of approximately 30 acres northeasterly of State Highway 42 and south of Garden Road. Recommendation to adopt as amended per the committee report. Supervisor Testrodi. Thank you, Thank you, Supervisor Testrodi. Supervisor Wagner. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'll move that. Thank you, Supervisor Wagner. Under discussion? Seeing no discussion, please vote. Supervisor Jorgensen. Aye. Supervisor Immel. Aye. Thank you. That's also approved unanimously. Consideration of committee reports, Transportation Committee, Ordinance Number 13. Regarding amending Chapters 61, 62, 63, 64, and 65 related to airport minimum standards, safety, and the Airport Advisory Committee, and naming of Sheboygan County Memorial International Airport, recommendation to enact per committee report with approved highlighted changes to chapters 61 and 64. Supervisor Wagner. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'll move for approval of ordinance number 13. Thank you, Supervisor Wagner. Supervisor Testrodi. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'll second the motion. 
Thank you, Supervisor Testrodi. Under discussion. Seeing no discussion, please vote. Supervisor Jorgensen. Aye. Supervisor Immel. Aye. It's approved 22 yes and one abstention. The report of the County Administrator and Human Resources Director. Regarding report on elected officials' salaries per Chapter 47. That's a report only and we'll receive that for information. And with that, I'll turn the gavel over to the Vice Chair. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Resolutions being introduced this evening, resolution number 27 from the Finance Committee. Regarding authorizing the Finance Committee and Finance Director to balance over budget departmental accounts. Thank you, that'll be referred to the Executive Committee. Resolution number 28 from Transportation. Regarding purchase of commercial hangars. That will also be referred to Executive. Tonight, ordinances in being introduced. Ordinance number 14 from Health and Human Services. Regarding creating an oversight committee to advise Sheboygan County in administering and evaluating the treatment alternatives and diversion program. Thank you, that'll be uh, sent to law committee. Uh, ordinance number 15 from Human Resources. Regarding amending certain elected officials' salaries. That will be referred to finance. Ordinance number 16 from law. Regarding amending chapter 12, County Emergency Medical Services Council. That will be referred to Executive Committee. Number 17, Ordinance 17 from Transportation. Regarding establishing speed zone on County Road II, Tana Sherman. That will be referred to the Law Committee. And Ordinance Number 18 from Transportation. Regarding establishing speed zone on County Road J, Town of Rhine. That will also be referred to Law. As that concludes our business for the evening. Uh, we'll look for an adjournment and Supervisor Testrodi. Thank you. And Supervisor Brower. Thank you. Any discussion, please vote. Supervisor Jorgensen. Aye. Supervisor Emmel. Aye. Thank you. Thank you. We are adjourned. <laughs>